Hi, Dr. Gan from Dr. Vein Medical Clinic. Today we're going to be exploring what causes varicose veins. Now, varicose veins are those bulging veins that, you see, that you've probably noticed on your legs or people that you may know of, either friends or family. They're usually greenish or bluish in color and sometimes they can be evident as coming out of the skin and other times they can just be seen as these faint green lines that run around your leg and have a slight increase in size and sometimes go back to normal. Now in the early stages they may just be like that where they, you get these green veins and they don't actually pop out the skin but they're slowly starting to come but with time you'll find that they actually bulge out. You may also find that during times of warm weather or even hot weather these veins bulge out and when it's cold they actually go down. But over time what you may find is that these veins will just constantly be popped out and you'll find more veins coming out and those are the varicose veins we're talking about. So what causes these unsightly varicose veins? A very common cause and a lot of patients already know this before they come and see me would be family history. Now if you've had a mother or father who's had varicose veins there's going to be a very high chance that you will develop varicose veins as well. I've seen patients as early as their teens, to their 20s or even 30s when they first developed varicose veins but they already anticipated it was going to come because they had a very strong family history. Now a very common second cause of varicose veins would be female hormones or pregnancy. Now female hormones includes estrogen and progesterone and these hormones directly affect the walls of these veins causing it to eventually break down becoming varicose veins. In pregnancy there's a huge hormonal factor as well as the fact during pregnancy these veins tend to expand and become quite large and break out into varicose veins. What we tend to find is with pregnancy they may go back to normal but there's a very high likelihood with subsequent pregnancies these veins that either go back to normal or stay there eventually break down and become these large varicose veins all over the leg. Now a third cause would be the type of work that you do. If your work involves you standing for long periods and it doesn't matter whether you're in retail or sales or nursing or a teacher or even a hairdresser or even in mining, if you're standing for long periods you can't fight gravity and what I mean by that is when you're standing for long periods there's blood flow all the way down to your leg and it needs to come back up and because sometimes the valves are affected closer to the bottom the blood can't get back up and you get pooling of blood where the veins actually dilate and expand even further. So occupation can play a huge role. Now the fourth factor that we find varicose veins coming out is being overweight or obese. For some patients they may not have any choice about it because they may have a condition called lipedema whereby they get fatty deposits and there's a high chance that you're going to develop varicose veins. For other patients it might just be due to stretching their skin when they're overweight and the veins actually pooling up a little bit more because it's harder for the veins for the blood to get back up. Now the final cause that's quite common that we find is trauma. If you've had an accident whether in sports or a car accident or any injury in a certain part of your leg and you've all of a sudden had a breakout of varicose veins, this could be because the wall of the varicose vein or the wall of the vein itself has been damaged causing it to break out into varicosities. Now I hope this breaks down varicose veins for you as in the causes of it. If you have further information that you need, please visit our website at www drvein.com.au or book yourself in for a consultation to get these veins treated.